Hello, today I will introduce our work that has been accepted to the Web for Good track of the Web Conference 2024 about the deep filter bubble. Short video platforms have been rising in popularity recently, but one of the concerns regarding these platforms is that they could give rise to something called the filter bubble, which is what happens when users are exposed to a small portion of the full array of existing content on a platform. What we are introducing in this work is the deep filter bubble. The deep filter bubble is a phenomenon that can be, uh, can be formed when users are exposed to only a deep, uh, narrower extent of content at deeper categories. So if a video has three uh, layers of categories, then the user will only see the narrower categories at lower levels over time. To conduct our analysis, we leverage a very large data set from one of the top short video platforms in China over a one-year period. We first generate a criterion that tells us whether or not a user is in a filter bubble at a given period of time and at each level. And we de determine that there are different trends of the formation of these filter bubbles over the year period. We also analyze the factors that could be giving rise to the formation of these deep filter bubbles and we find that at the top layer there is a pulling effect where future dominant categories, that is the categories that users are seeing most, tend to be similar to the initial categories that they, are seen, they have seen uh, for each week. So basically your initial behavior or initial exposure will inform your future exposure and cause it to be less diverse. We also analyze the personal characteristics of users and the potential risk that they form in uh, giving rise to the deep filter bubble and we find that users who are in lower tier cities as well as females and younger people have a somewhat higher risk of falling into the deeper filter bubble. And with regard to feedback, we find that the explicit feedback uh, is related to the items that are more likely to form a deep filter bubble, whereas implicit feedback can actually alleviate the formation of these bubbles. And finally, we offer some conclusions as recommendations to platforms that can alleviate the deep filter bubble problem. And thank you for listening.